Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank, and this is episode 10 of Undisputed Career Mode Boxing. Let's get right into it. All right, I already got a fight. Looking to go against Emir Ran Hamad. Not the greatest fighter, but definitely a fighter that we can get a great win against and hopefully a knockout. I'm gonna negotiate this contract and I'll see everybody when it's time for the training camp. And here we are at the training camp once again. Lucas Demif Dimitri is looking to go out here and get better every single day that he's in training camp. I'm gonna get these two media trainings out the way super fast, super quick, do a little fan meet and greet. Now we know last time out, he got knocked out once again by Patrick Recall. So if you have not seen that fight, definitely go back and watch it. It was a fight that he was winning. And next thing you know, once again, Patrick Recall caught him on that chin. But going forward, we're definitely gonna have to get our power up, get our punch speed up and make sure our health is also where it needs to be. So we'll do a little bit of yoga, get our health up. We'll do it twice, matter of fact, three times we'll do it. I really wanna make sure that we're gonna be in a good area to not get knocked out, to have our health in the correct spot. And we're also gonna do some jump rope to get our movement speed, endurance, and stamina up. Probably one more training drill and we might be good to go. And we are, but I think once I do this recovery, we're pretty much gonna drop right back down to fight sharpness, not ready. And of course, I'm undertrained. my weight is on weight, and I'm charged up for this fight. I wanted to make sure to get out here and get this fight to y'all attention quickly, so let's go out here and get this victory. I'll see everybody out there when it's time to punch this dude in the face. And it's that time. Emron Hamad versus Lucas the Myth Dimitri here at Brooklyn Hall. I'm feeling pretty good. I don't really know what to expect, but I do know that this is a big showcase for Lucas Dimitri. If he can come out here and get a knockout, maybe put together a couple more this episode, I think next time out, we'll be looking to face off against Patrick Fakal in the trilogy fight. Now, that's a huge fight for Lucas Dimitri, especially getting knocked out twice already. He was winning both of those fights the whole time through. So hopefully going forward, we'll just keep getting some knockouts and knock out Patrick Fakal as well. Here we go. 18 losses, 37 wins with 11 KOs. He's not the greatest boxer, but that's what we need right now is to come out here and get a great performance against a not so great boxer and keep moving forward. Beautiful left hand. Let's keep rotating though. I'm gonna keep using that jab lead left hand. I have 80 power in that lead hook. So if we can land that a few times, we'll cut our opponent up and start doing a lot of damage. Let's use that jab, beautiful. Good left hook. Switch it up. I might go inside. Due to my power and my ability to have an inside game, a little bit of bonuses there. I might end up just going right inside on him. Let's see, good jab, body hook. Step back, whoa! I tried to go in for a headbutt too. I guess I didn't mean to do that one, but let's keep our head on a swivel just in case. And Lucas Dimitri. On the back foot now, using that jab. And a beautiful jab counter. I definitely was not ready for the counter. And I mean, he could be a 64, but his power could be there as well. I didn't check any of the stats. I said, you know what, let's get right out there and bring the fight to everybody's attention. So here we are, a minute 20 in the first. And a beautiful body hook just missing from Lucas Dimitri. Beautiful combination. There we go, just what I'm looking for. He tries going for the hook, but no luck. That's the way I'm talking about. Good jab. Beautiful. 17 and two, the record for Lucas Dimitri. And they're speaking on it being a amazing record. I mean, at 25, 26, being 17 and two, isn't really what I expected. I thought I'd be more of 19 and 0 right now, undefeated boxer. But Patrick McCall is the only man that can beat Lucas Dimitri at this point. Oh, trying to hit him with that combination, but no luck. Imran, I've been on this game a little bit, so I'll need to put my combinations back together, but hopefully it comes right back to me. Good jab, looking for the hook as well, and no luck. First round in the books, and the second round should be a lot more of that action. Here we go. Let's do it. Beautiful. That left hook is money right now. I might just hit him with a few hooks, see if I can put him down. He's slipping off the center line, pretty nice. So let me actually use that right hook, come back, 
He tried to hit me with an uppercut, but no luck. A beautiful body hook, right to the left hook to the face. Looking for the jab, left hook, and here's a clinch. A very smart clinch, but I mean, it's kind of getting to me. Kind of getting to me. Uh-oh. Of course, did not mean to throw that punch. Get back, get back. Okay, Lucas Dimitri, my stamina is very low right now. Make sure not to get caught up with any punches that I do not need to take. There we go, beautiful. Let's work for that body. Great combination. Come on, run up. Gotta be, gotta be. Body hook. Wow, there we go. Beautiful, look for the jab, double it up. Look for the body hook. Double body hook, triple body hook. Went for the left body hook. It was a lead double up. Look at that, beautiful. Came right back with the right hook and put him to the floor. Just what we needed to see. Lucas Dimitri is on fire right now. Great jab to the body hook. And he's looking for a lot more. And there it goes. Amazing. Just what I wanted to see. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Lucas Dimitri comes in with a great knockdown. And he's up at seven. Lucas Dimitri puts his opponent down in the second round. And we are looking for the knockout here. And he's done. And he's got to be done. Oh my goodness, this dude got murked. Beautiful combination. Left hook, right hook. Did not know what hit him. The right hook stunned him. Came in with a jab and then a left hand as well. The right hand clips him. The left hand drops him. And Lucas Dimitri is looking for a knockout win. And here's the count now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. KO! A KO victory once again for Lucas Dimitri. And we're looking to get three fights in this episode for sure. Exactly what we was looking for in this match. Lucas Dimitri comes out with another victory by KO. All we have to do is keep getting these type of victories, keep moving forward, and maybe Patrick Recall will give us a call for that third fight. All right, everybody. I'll see y'all all back for the fight rewards at the main menu. And we are here. I kind of skipped the fight rewards, my bad, but I did get a B result in that one, I'm pretty sure. So it looks like we have a new coach that we can upgrade to, or we can keep the D coach. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking at upgrading our coach just to the C. Let's see though. This coach right here has the Bulldozer 2. Increase the damage dealt to opponent's block by 12%. It's not bad. This coach right here, passive hitter, so no penalty for fighting in the opposite stance. That's actually a pretty good one as well. I might go for her, Lisa Trevor. Let's look at Maya Jordan though. Table Turner 2. Upon entering dazed, after being dazed, your punches have increased 35% chance to flash dazed for 30 seconds. Eh, that's all right, but I'm not really interested in that. Here we go. Now this is what we're talking about. Grant Smith could be the guy for the knockouts. Bomber 2. Increase the damage of power punch straights thrown to the head by 50% and increased flash knockdown chance on power punches thrown by 50%. His next ability, Rock'em Sock'em 2. Increased the damage of uppercuts thrown to the head by 25%. Wow. And then his Powerhouse 2 ability, increased the damage of thrown power punches by 20%. And then it looks like Blood and Guts Warrior reduces the chance of a referee stopping the fight due to cuts by 30%. Okay, so it's either gonna be Grant Smith, I really like his abilities, definitely a type of fighter that we can go out there and get a lot of knockouts with, but look at Lisa Trevor. So she has the body worker as well, which is a really good one. Knockdown artist, or knockout artist, excuse me. Flash, knockdown, okay, that's a good one. And punches in bunches. When throwing a combination of punches, damage increases by 3%. I'm going with Lisa Trevor. It's between Grant Smith and Lisa Trevor. I'm actually gonna go with Lisa Trevor. Curveball, for sure, but I'm going with Lisa Trevor. Let me know if that's the right decision down below in the comments. I'll be able to make a change going forward if it isn't. All right, let's do it though. I'm gonna view the traits and it looks like, wow, I'm pretty sure we have all these abilities already. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not even sure. I'm actually gonna do some upgrades though. We're gonna upgrade her vitality to a D. Just like that, looks good to me. And actually I gotta apply it first. There we go. All right, and it's time to schedule another fight. How's everybody's day going though? Let me know what you guys think of the face cam down below in the comments. Do you guys like it with this bigger screen? because before I was looking at the video, I'm like, yo, y'all can barely see my face. So 
I decided to come back with a different look in the top left. Let me know what y'all think down below. All right, and here we go. It's time once again to schedule a fight. Now, I'm not too sure in which direction I should go, but I do want to keep moving up these ranks. I'm a 71 overall, and I think it might be time to fight this man right here. Alexander Kano, 81 overall, so he's definitely better than I am. And I'm gonna see if I can go for a 50-50 split. St. Andrews Sporting Club, that's where I wanna go, me personally. I've never fought there yet, so I think this is definitely the time to indulge in one of those. We'll do 12 weeks of training, three media activities, and let's get right to it. Okay, does not want a home fight, and he doesn't like me getting 50%. Maybe I'll go 40 because I'm not the ranking fighter, and we'll go home fight for me, I guess, or a home fight for him. I'm not sure who has the home fight, but to me, it does not matter whatsoever. It's gonna be Lucas Dimitri versus Alexander Kano. No idea what type of fighter this guy is. I'm gonna check him out right before the fight, probably, but let's go to St. Andrews. This is where we will be fighting at, and look at this. Guest commentate on a fight. Oh, that's lit. No idea you could do that. After that last knockout victory, these doors are definitely opening for Lucas Dimitri. Now, let's go in here and look for some health. That's really the main thing I'm looking for. Health and speed. Health and speed. We'll upgrade our health by doing some yoga. We'll do a little media activity as well, a sports blog photo shoot sounds pretty interesting to me we'll do a little bit of a speed bag and of course <sighs> right shoulder strain my power punching will be down 15 now i'm not sure how long it's gonna take to get this trained up but look at that beautiful 20 bands and zero weeks remaining on the recovery we are right back and the shoulder will not stop lucas dimitri's attack for that belt that's for sure we'll do one more media a fan meet and greet say hello to everybody do some recovery and look at me I need to do a little bit of a dietary change, get back on weight, and we'll do actually, we'll do two things a jump rope, a major injury here in the fight camp, a right torn Achilles. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can even train this, like heal this up. 22 weeks left. I guess I'll be right back once I'm healed up from this injury. It might only be a two fight episode today. I thought it was gonna be three, but it looks like this one is gonna take a little bit of time to get through. So I'll be right back, hopefully not overweight and hopefully ready for the fight against Mr. Kano. I'll see everybody then. Wish me luck. And we are back, but I got some great news and I'm pretty hyped. Danny Carter. This is a title challenge right here. What? Steamboat Danny Carter. I don't know who he's fought. I'm not sure how he has a belt, but I know it's a fight opportunity for a belt. This might be a Steel City Interactive belt. Okay, that makes sense. This is a Steel City Interactive belt. But here we go. I don't care how much I get. This is the national title right here. The USA belt, essentially. Let's go for a 25 split. Grand Theater, fight insurance, yes. Rematch clause, I'm going no. Now, I'm not sure if he's gonna be going for that or not, but he says, let's go for it. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. A fighter who says, you know what? Let's get out there and fight. Who cares about a rematch? If you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. We're going to Santiago this time. I'm not playing any games, because last time I came out here and got hurt at St. Andrews. I'm not going for it again. I had a shoulder injury. I had an Achilles tear. Everything was going wrong in that training camp. But it looks like it worked out in my favor. Now I am looking at a title shot. Oh my goodness, a belt opportunity? Never thought I'd be here. Especially after getting that back-to-back -back recall loss. Sickening. So what I got to say about that one. Sickening. That's it. We'll do a little jump rope. Defensive sparring. Little recovery. And I think... Ooh, I don't know if I can do recovery again. Ah, that's not where you want to be. That is not where you want to be. I'm 100% charged up, but I'm under-trained. Barely on weight, too. Just two pounds under where I need to be. I'm actually going to go and check out my opponent right now. I don't want to play any games, and I definitely don't want to have any problems with getting this win. Let me check out my opponent right now, see who we're going to fight, and we'll get right into it. And here we go. This is Danny Carter, 83 overall, and he's reached his full potential. From New Jersey, block health is a 90, punch speed 98. Good conditioning, good chin resistance as well, good cut resistance. I'm trying to find out where his weaknesses are. I'm really not seeing any. And the fact that this man is an 83 is ridiculous. This man's an 83, really? I'm not sure how he's an 83, but all I know is we're going out here and getting this victory. 
Didn't say anything. He's a boxer puncher. We're not going to worry about what he can do or what he can't do. We're just going to go out here and fight our fight. This is Lucas Dimitri's first chance of getting a title fight. First chance of winning a belt. First time a champ has even said, we want to fight you. And the fact that this guy's an 83 overall, I'm coming in as a 78. I got a decent chance. I'm talking about 60% to 75% chance of winning this fight. Now, I'm not going to say it's 100%. And I'm not going to be overly confident, but I know I got skills on the sticks. And Lucas, the myth, Dimitri, is coming out here for the victory. We are here at the Grand Theater, a historic venue. And the 26-year-old Lucas, the myth, Dimitri, is looking for the championship. I'm ready for the outros. Let's see him walk out for the belt. Lucas, the myth, Dimitri. This man right here is looking to become the legend. But right now, he is just the myth. A knockout in his last fight. 18 wins with 8 KOs. I'm looking for my ninth tonight, for sure. He looks ready. And look at this man we fighting. <laughs> Danny Carter. This man looks like a beast. A strong, burly fighter from New Jersey City, New Jersey. I'm ready, though. We know what time it is. And he's that man, the myth, the legend. Let's go. Beautiful. Oh, they didn't, they didn't even say my name. They didn't even say my name. I like it, though. Here he is, the champ. Let's get that glove tap. Let's get the glove tap. Oh, my goodness. This is like a euphoric match right here. Lucas Dimitri for his first opportunity of getting that belt. And it starts now. The championship fight for the history of the boxing sport. This could be the first title Lucas Dimitri gets his hands on and we'll find out if he does. All right, it's gonna be back foot fighting, back foot fighting. I'm not playing no games. Usually I wanna come out here, fight hard, get the knockout, but this fight, I'm focusing in and I'm just making sure that we will get this victory. Beautiful left hook, let's keep rotating. I mean, we started whooping recall with a bit of this move right here. We rotate to our left, which is towards the power hand, not really where you wanna go necessarily but I mean when you're Lucas Dimitri it's all about taking risks and getting those rewards and now that we are a switch fighter so to speak we will now not have any ability to be trash in the orthodox or when we switch back to the southpaw given that Lucas Dimitri is a southpaw fighter I'm actually a bit surprised that he's not as good in the southpaw for sure oh, looking for the left hook but no luck let's keep moving I like it Good jab. I'm definitely winning this fight, but it does not mean that I need to keep fighting like I'm winning, if that makes sense. I want to just stay on the back foot and kind of fight smart. It is the first round, so who really knows? Any big punch could come at any time against this type of fighter. He's got the low shoes, definitely a powerhouse from the East Coast, and I got to be aware. It's a West Coast, East Coast affair tonight, and I'm looking to bring it back to the West. There we go. Beautiful. Caught him with a few hooks right there, left and a right. Beautiful right hook as well. I think the right hook is going to be money tonight. There we go. Coming in, switching out. Let's actually switch stances, come back, rotate. Look for the jab. Beautiful combination. And we're getting out. Just like that. Possible with a jab, though. Beautiful jab, slip back. Come on, come on. Rotate, rotate. He's quick. I'll give him that. He's quick. I'll give him that for sure. 98 punch speed. We know we're going to have to be in bah, 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 and jump right back out or else we're going to get pieced up pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. As long as we can keep moving forward, mentally at least, you know, not now allow any of his punches to rattle us because I'm not really interested in moving forward on this guy. I mean, I'll come in and do a little punches here and there whatsoever. Let's go for this lead hook, uppercut, beautiful combination. But I mean, this is just not a combination that I want to be throwing especially when he's throwing his combinations back on my face if i'm throwing my punches boom 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 and that 98 punch speed comes in and clips me yeah it might be a, it might be a short night for your boy oh but we're looking we're looking for knockouts right now i'm going to the body i'm going up top there it is beautiful my hands are starting to get a lot faster and my opponents are starting to feel them a lot more there we go come on Getting loosey-goosey on him. Backing up. Roy Jones Jr. style. Beautiful jab. Keep using that jab, Frank. Let's go for that jab. Lead hook. Body straight. Watch it. There it is. Come on. Money. I caught it. We're rotating now. Let's rotate away from that power hand. Using that jab. Oh, my gosh. 
I didn't catch him at all. There we go. Get back, get back, get back. Look at this guard right now. Feeling like Floyd Mayweather. Maybe like Ryan Garcia when he was trying to do it. He got caught by that uppercut though. But let's go, keep fighting, Frank. Gotta stay focused, I can get this win. Beautiful. Left hook, right hook, and look at that cut. Above his eye, the right hook is now landing like money. Oh my gosh. Back up, back up. There we go, keep moving though. If we can keep fighting this fight, we'll get the victory tonight. Just keep beating down the block. There we go. I'm looking for a slip straight. Hey, we'll take it. Hey, that wasn't the cleanest slip. He didn't even throw a punch, but I slip it off and come right down the pipe with a straight. Nice and easy. I think it's now the third round, and I'm pretty sure I'm winning 2-0. to oh. Oh, oh my gosh, good uppercut. Definitely not broken. I appreciate it. Let's keep moving. Keep rotating as well. I don't want to get cut up, but I know he has a cut resistance of 98 or something. But he's cut up a butt at eye. I know he is. Trying to go to that body as well, but no luck. Let's go, let's go, keep moving. And look at the stance right now from Lucas Dimitri. He's not worried about anything right now. Just missed him with that left, and oh, actually a good counter punch from Mr. Danny Carter. But we're looking for something right now. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Let's go, I'm ready. He don't really want to come towards me, and I'm not gonna come towards him because that just means we're gonna get caught up with punches. I mean, I must keep trying to use that counter left, and if we can find it, it's gonna be money tonight, for sure. Just keep rotating. Oh my gosh, beautiful jab. I try to hit him with that lead hook, but no luck, and of course a clinch. Not even surprised. Every time they wanna clinch you up, it's because they're getting whooped. Believe me, it's because they're getting whooped. Beautiful. I'm looking for the left hook, I'm looking for the right hook. I'm just looking for any punch that's gonna hit this man. There it is. Beautiful. The hooks right now are bad news. I mean, I do have Roy Jones' um, his stance. So, and he was Captain Hook. So, it is best to keep throwing those hooks because I'm going to catch him with a lot of them. And look at that. I know his right eye now is bleeding. The left glove of Lucas Dimitri has a bit of blood on it. And trust me, it is not his own blood from his face. He's not cut just yet. And he still has that killer smile ready for this fourth round. Oh, no, no. Guard up, guard up, guard up. Wow, I could have got knocked out. I really could have got knocked out right there. It's crazy. They throw them punches even after your input. Beautiful. He's cut open again. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Uppercut. Boom. Uppercut, uppercut. Let's go, baby. We're looking at that title right now. No doubt. Beautiful hook. Oh, what an uppercut. Amazing combination. Look at his eyeball. He's bleeding. He is bleeding. Down he goes. Down he goes. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's up at seven. Okay. That's that championship spirit now kicking in for him. And we'll find out exactly what he's here for. I'm looking for a knockout, though. Is he ready, though? Is he ready, though? I don't think he's ready. I don't think he's ready. Stay up on him. Body hook. There it goes. Yup. We're just working the jab, baby. Jab, jab. Beautiful body hook. Lines him up. And it's not a good look for this man. He is bleeding like no tomorrow and we know what that means for this fight it's pretty much over for him and we might as well call the ambulance as well i'm looking for a knockout punch though if he gets up i'm not gonna go to the body i'm gonna start to the body work my way up maybe jab hook body hook uppercut come up and clean him up for the third drop of this round if i have enough time i'm looking for the ko 16 seconds, I got him. Oh my goodness, he's slipping his head. For sure. All right, all right. I'm gonna fight smart. I'm gonna fight smart. Stay on the outside for sure. He's losing this fight, no doubt about it. 
As long as I can keep moving forward, keep getting the punches landed, I'll get this victory. Is he open already? He might be. Yo, the hooks right now are money. The hooks are killing this guy. Oh my goodness. Looking for the jab, left hook just missed him. Oh, and a good body hook from him. Actually caught me off guard right there. Oh, that's a headbutt, oops. Don't wanna throw one of those. I'll definitely lose the fight. Good left hook, man. That left hook is so money. Can we get him out of here? Can we get this guy out of here? We're putting the punches on him right now. There we go. Now, I'm not sure how he's gonna fight after this eighth round, or this fifth round, excuse me. <laughs> I read it as eight. Oh, oh, I meant to say it's an eight round fight. And I don't want to gas myself right now. I'm going to have to land my punches. Beautiful left hook. There it is. It's over. It's over. He took a knee. He took a knee. Oh, my goodness. He took a knee. What? Look at this man. He took a knee and got up at eight. Yo, I didn't know you could take a knee. I had no idea you could do that. I would have been took a knee a while ago. Oh, we staying pressed up, too. This man's the champion? Doubt it. I'm the people's champ now. Shout out Muhammad Ali and The Rock. Triple jab, and he's throwing body hooks that are not landing. This man is in deep waters right now. He's lost out here. I've been switching the stances pretty frequently, and they actually been doing a lot of damage to this man. Woo, good slip. I definitely, I'm gonna let him throw his punches here. But I mean, I'm gonna throw mine as well. I wanna make sure I'm watching my stamina too. Given that you can really get caught with some punches and Lucas Dimitri has been caught by a few punches in his career, especially by Patrick Recall that has dropped him to the floor when his stamina was low. Let's keep staying on the back foot now and I'm gonna let this guy come to me. Trying to hit that strong jab, no luck though. And why are my hands moving so slow? Look at this guy, man, clinching up. You can't control these type of things in this fight. Or I mean this game. Like I can't even get up out of that. It's just a ref. Like if he wants to let me out, he'll let me out. You know? There we go. Yeah, he's talking about being a dirty fighter. Man, he is losing this fight big time. I don't want this knockout. Oh my gosh. Monstrous left hook. Clips him to end the combination. Let's go. I'm looking for the slip. Come on. Defensive fighting. I want to get him tired and finish the fight. That's what I'm looking to do. And he's quick, man. He's able to slip my jabs like no tomorrow. And the fact that he can slip my punches and not win this fight is crazy to me. 98 speed. I guess speed doesn't kill when timing is in play. They say speed beats power and timing beats speed. Lucas Dimitri tonight has been on timing for sure. I think we're going into the seventh round, maybe the sixth. It's the seventh round, and look at this fight. 60-51. Oh, monstrous uppercut. There we go. Let's look for those. There we go. Beautiful combination. Three-piece. Good jab. Look for the body. Look for the body. Do not go for the head anymore. I'm not throwing any more head punches unless he has his hands cleaned down. Because this dude is starting to piece me up now. He's quick on his feet for sure. And I know he's cut up on that left eye. And I'm trying to give him some work there. The ah! Get back, get back, get back. Before I get dropped and it's over. Yep, fight on the back foot and we're going to get this victory. I don't really care about the knockout. I mean, I really wanted it, of course. But I'm not going to put myself in harm's way and lose this opportunity for the championship. Just by getting knocked out, being greedy. Hungry for that knockout. Oh, no! That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Why weren't they more cautious? Like, I hate the announcers in this game. Why wasn't I more cautious? I was, man. He caught me. I was cautious, but he caught me. Finally waking up from that nap is crazy. There we go. Yo, my hands is up. My hands is up. This is why he's the champion. Yeah, I'm not throwing any more punches. No more punches being thrown. Rotate, rotate, rotate. That's it. 
Rotate, rotate, rotate. That's all we doing. There we go. Hey, you can deal with this all round. I'm good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. I need to slip one back like this and we'll be good. There we go. Good right hand as well. Man, this fight is not looking good. There we go. Calm now. We're staying calm. All right. We know the position this man is in right now. He needs a KO victory. And I know for a fact he's looking for it. We're going to stay back though. And I know he's going to try and coax me in for a counter punch. But I'm not allowing it. I'm going to rotate off the pivot. Off that center line. And just keep moving. I'm going to go away from the power hand now. Go southpaw. And rotate away. Good jab. Beautiful. Yo. His left hook is just so fast. I'm going to have to slip back just in case. Be ready. There we go. Little one-two to the face. Let him know. Good combination. Doubling up with the left hook. Beautiful. Trying to be more elusive. I've been elusive most of the fight. There we go. Great combination. Little jab. Right hook. We're just making sure that he knows. Hey, man, we are here, and if you want to come close to us, we're going to strike you down. Looking for a quick slip. Good counter. I'm throwing it straight down the pipe right now, and it's money. Uh-oh, back up, back up, back up. Stamina, definitely low. And I'm looking for the decision victory for the championship. His first belt, and I mean, it's not an IBF or, a, or WBO or anything like that, but it's a belt. It's a championship. Still Sydney Interactive. It means something to Lucas Dimitri, that's for sure. He's the U.S. holder, the national champion. Looking for the body uppercut, no luck. There we go. Good switch, good switch. Blood all over the ring tonight. Back up. Good jab, good left hand. Oh my gosh. Yep, and we're looking for a knockout in the final three. I apologize for that. I had no idea my recording did not record the ending of that fight and the recap essentially. But I just want to say I won that fight. Unanimous decision. Eight rounds to zero. A great performance from Lucas the Myth Dimitri. Just want to say peace out everybody. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Stay safe. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe for more uploads. Peace.